Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sunday School. It's Sunday, August the 15th, 2021. Today, we're going to be reading about Dorcas, and our main theme is Be Kind, Be Generous. Here's what we're going to do today. First, we're going to examine some zoomed pictures and predict what they could be. Then we're going to learn about real kid heroes, just like we have every week. Um, we're going to review the amazing Bible heroes we've read about so far, and we're going to read and discuss the story of Dorcas, and then we're going to draw or write to tell which Bible hero that we've studied this summer is our favorite. So let's open our session today in prayer, and then we'll get going with our activities. Please join me in prayer. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for this moment together to study about the important heroes in your Bible and help us to understand and learn from the messages that they bring us. Help us to follow your word. Be with us through this study. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So if we're going to start out today with a little bit of a game. I used a magnifying glass and I zoomed in on some images, some pictures. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a zoomed in image and I want you to guess what it could be. Either write it down on a piece of paper, what you think it is, or type it in the chat box. Let me know what you think it might be. And then we'll zoom it out and we'll see what it is. Let's see what our first zoomed in image is. Ooh, I wonder what that could be. Take a close look. When you think you know what it might be, go ahead and put in the chat box what you think it might be. Or you can write it on a piece of paper. All right, you think you have an idea? Let's take a look now and zoom out. Oh, it's a t-shirt. Oh, I see that now. Right there's the part we were zoomed in where the R is. Huh, that's a shirt is an article of clothing. All right, let's try another one. Ooh, I wonder what that could be. That reminds me of my purse. My purse is made out of material kind of like that. Hmm, when you think you know, either write it down or put your answer in the chat box. Let's take a look. You're ready to zoom out. One, two, three. Let's see what it is. Ah, a pair of blue jeans. Yeah, that makes sense. I also have a purse that's like that. It's made out of that denim material. All right, let's try another one. Oh, I wonder what that could be. That's a zoomed in picture. When you think you know what that is, go ahead and put Put your um, name in the, uh, put what it is in the chat box or write it on a piece of paper and we will see what you think it is. All right, so let's go now. And let's see what it could be. Oh, it's a suit. It was zoomed in on the tie, yeah. Sometimes we have to zoom out before we know what something is. Ah, all right, let's try another one. What do you think that could be? Hmm, look carefully, remember it's zoomed in. What could it be? Okay, go ahead and write your answer down on a piece of paper or put it in the chat box. Let's see what you think. All right, let's see. Ah, it's a pair of shorts. I see it was zoomed in on that part. And there's the Adidas label. That would have been a hint. All right, I think I have another one. Oh, yeah, I wonder what that could be. Look carefully. Remember, it's zoomed right in. Maybe it's a top view. I don't know. Okay, put what you think that might be. Either write it on a piece of paper or put it in the chat box. And let's see what it could be. All right, ready? Let's zoom out and take a look at what it is. Ah, it was a winter hat. 
boy, we had a shirt and pants and we had a suit and we have a winter hat. All of these things are articles of clothing. So we zoomed in and looked closely at some different articles of clothing. Sometimes when we're listening to God's stories, we zoom in to get a closer look at what's going on and we zoom out to get the big picture. So let's see. Now we're going to look at our Bible hero of this week. Now I'm excited to tell you that this is our very own kids right here at GPC. I wanna share what they did. They made clothing like the t-shirts for kids in Ghana. This happened in the summer of 2019 at our last VBS. And one of the things that the children did is they made tie-dye t-shirts. And you can see here's kids at VBS. They're using different colors and they're putting the, um, the dye in there and they're putting the t-shirts. They put rubber bands in and they dyed them. And then here they're taking them out and they rinse them out and they let them dry. You can see here, there's two girls or actually three are showing you what some of the shirts look like when they're done. That's called tie dyeing where you put a shirt in with rubber bands around stuff and it makes beautiful designs on those. Well, at VBS, the kids made shirts and shorts and our missionary, Mama Julie, took those clothes to Ghana, to children in Ghana who didn't have very many clothes and now they have a whole outfit. They have a t-shirt and a pair of shorts that they can wear. So as you can see, kids right here at GPC are doing helpful things for kids all around the world. So we are heroes right here at GPC too. All right, we've been learning about some amazing heroes this summer. We learned about Rahab, who was brave. We learned about Boaz, who was kind. We learned about Mordecai, who was bold and had to tell about the spies. We learned about Hannah, who wanted a baby and learned to keep praying and not to give up. We learned about Naomi, who's not in the Bible, but she spoke the truth out in Washington, D.C. to all the people to tell them that she was tired of gun violence. And we learned about Elijah, who had to listen to God and trust him. We listened the last two weeks about Saul, who changed his name to Paul. And at first, he wasn't a very good guy. But when he started listening to God, he changed. And he became um, a real hero when he finally did listen to God. And he helped people in the end. And Ananias was brave. He went and he healed and he got rid of the, he gave back the sight to Paul and he helped by following God's word. So he was helpful and brave. So those are some of the heroes that we've been reading about so far this summer. And now we have, well, we're going to read about one more. They all did amazing things. We're gonna get open up our Bible and we are going to be learning about Dorcas. Dorcas is also another name for her that they use in the Bible is Tabitha. And she was a woman who liked to help people. You notice she has clothing here. She, just like we made clothes for the kids in Ghana, Dorcas, she actually hand sewed clothes for people who didn't have clothes and she helped them. And you see here too, it looks like she provided some food as well. Um, I want you, while we're reading, to listen to the story about how Tabitha was generous to her community. And think about why the people were sad and how a man named Peter helped him to change things, helped her to change things. All right, so here's our story. You'll see, here's the picture of her where she's making the clothing. All right, it's called, they call her Tabitha in this version. Tabitha rejoins her friends, Acts 9, verse 36 through 43. This is in the New Testament. When you miss someone you love, you may be very sad. This is how Jesus' friends felt before Jesus came back to life. Tabitha loved Jesus very much. She did all she could for the people who needed help. She was very good at sewing clothes. 
She made clothes for the widows who needed new clothes and had no money. She worked hard to make sure that everyone knew about Jesus's love. Everyone loved Tabitha. Wow, she's really helping everybody. That's one way to show Jesus's love, isn't it? Then Tabitha got very sick and died. Everyone was so sad. They couldn't believe Tabitha was gone. Peter, one of Jesus's friends, was in a nearby town. He was telling people about Jesus. When Tabitha's friends heard that Peter was near, they went to get him. Come with us right away, they told Peter. Tabitha died and we are all sad. Please come pray for her. Peter went with them. When they got in the house, Peter saw how Tabitha's friends and how they were and how sad they were. They told him how much they loved Tabitha. They showed Peter the fine clothing that Tabitha made for all the others. Peter said, let me see Tabitha. They took him to the room where, he, where her body was. Peter told them to wait outside. He knelt by the bed and prayed. When he stood up, Peter said, Tabitha, get up. Tabitha opened her eyes. Let me help you stand, Peter said, as he took Tabitha's hand. They went to Tabitha's friends. Her friends were so excited when they saw her alive. People heard about Tabitha and Peter, and even more, people believed in Jesus. Wow, that sounds like a miracle story. And it sounds like she was helpful, and she's going to continue to share Jesus' love with everyone. All right now, I want to show you a little video clip, just the same story, but just in a sort of slightly different mode. So let's take a look at this and see. And keep thinking about Tabitha. She wanted to do the things that Jesus taught us to do. One of the things that Dorcas knew Jesus wanted her to do was to love other people. So Dorcas spent all of her time doing good and helping the poor. In her little home, Dorcas made lots of clothes. She would then take them to women and children in and around Joppa needed them. The families were so grateful. Dorcas so loved Jesus and wanted to show his love to other people that she went all over the place helping people out. She would share the cakes she baked. Her neighbours were so grateful. But top of her list in helping people out was making clothes for those couldn't afford to buy them. She made such a difference to everyone around her. But one day, something terrible happened. Dorcas became ill. So ill that she sadly died. Everyone in the town was so sad. They missed her so much. Other followers of Jesus in Joppa took her body and laid it in the little upstairs room where Dorcas lived. The people were so upset. What could they do? Her friends decided that two of them should go to the nearby town where Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, was staying. They quickly set off to find Peter and tell him that Dorcas had died. They found Peter 
and told him what had happened. Wasting no time, Peter set off with them to go to Joppa. When Peter arrived at the house, he climbed the stairs to Dorcas's room. Peter entered the room to be greeted by a group of women who were all very upset that this dear, kind lady had died. The women were crying and showed Peter the clothes that Dorcas had made for them and their families while she was alive. Peter asked the women to leave the room. They left to join other neighbours outside. Dorcas had shown the people of Joppa so much of Jesus' love, they were all going to miss her. The people waited outside, wondering. Meanwhile, Peter knelt down by Dorcas's bed and prayed to Jesus. Then he turned to Dorcas's body and said, Dorcas, get up. Dorcas opened her eyes and seeing Peter, immediately sat up. Dorcas was alive. The news spread all over Joppa of what had happened that day. Many people came to believe in Jesus because of the miracle of Dorcas coming back to life. This dear lady showed the love of Jesus to those around her by doing acts of kindness. Remember that little acts of kindness each day helps to change the world for the better. Dorcas certainly knew that. Dorcas was a lovely lady and great follower of Jesus. She showed the love of Jesus to those around her by doing acts of kindness every day. Jesus wants us to love other people too. We also can share the love of Jesus by being kind and helpful to others. Showing Jesus' love to others is such a good thing to do and pleases Jesus. Okay, how was Dorcas helpful to the community? What do you think? Yeah, yeah, she gave um, clothes to the people and food to the people. What else did she do? Oh yeah, she told people about God's love, about Jesus' love for them. That's important too. She not only told them, but she showed them by doing things for them, like they said, acts of kindness. What happened to her? Yeah, she died and all the people were really sad. They missed her and all of her kindness. How did Peter change things? Why did he help? What do you think? Ah, yeah, Peter went in and prayed and that helped heal um, Dorcas or Tabitha, and he helped because Dorcas was such a good helper and helped all of the people. And remember, she helped by doing good things for them and showing and telling them about the love of Jesus. And she reminds us to continue to do kind and loving things for all of the people around us. And that's the story of Dorcas. Now, We've been learning about lots and lots of different heroes. I want you to think while we're here about which one is your favorite and why. Which one do you relate to the most? All right, so let's see. How about Rahab, who was about being brave? Or does Boaz, who was kind, is that one that you like the best? Or the one who was bold and spoke up and told when people were doing bad things. Or Hannah, who showed us to persist and not give up. Or Elijah, who taught us to listen and trust to God. Or Paul, who taught us we have to listen and follow God's directions. Or Ananias, who taught us about the power of being brave. Or Dorcas, who taught us about being kind or helpful. Now that we're near the end of our lesson today, what I'd like you to do is get a piece of paper and draw a picture of who your favorite Bible hero is and write that person's name down and tell me why. Why do you think that they're, they're your favorite? Do you like 
the character who was brave or do you like the one who doesn't give up or do you like the one who was helpful or the one who listened to God? Think about which one that you liked and draw a picture for us and maybe write a sentence telling about what they did. All right. So before we go, let's say a closing prayer. Um, Almighty God, our Father, thank you for helping us in this study this summer, learning about all the different um, brave heroes, both in the Bible and both in the real world. Thank you for enlightening us and helping us know about how we can be brave and bold and kind. Help us to continue to be kind and spread the love of God to those around us. Amen. All right. Have an amazing day, and when you come to church, if you draw a picture of your favorite Bible hero, bring it by so we can take a look at it and see which one you related to the best. Thanks, and have a great day.